Hi everyone, we're back with another Pick a Pile reading. Today we are going to be looking at what does my higher self want to say to me? What does your higher self want to say to you? What messages of guidance does your spirit, your soul, your higher self have for this ascension journey? Um, now, I was going to do some other Pick a Piles. I was going to do um, from your divine counterparts, higher self. I was going to do another healing um, pick a pile, but I was called to this because it's been a very difficult week. <laughs> it's been a very difficult week. I think for me, I think the collective has been feeling some intense energies. Um, for myself, um, I think it's partly the full moon. I think it's partly Venus in retrograde. I believe that it is just partly where I am on my journey. Um, I have been releasing so much. And as part of that releasing, I'm realizing that I'm stepping more and more into my power. Now, what that looks like on the 3D for me is not so pretty. Um, things with my divine counterpart, my person, who I like to call my person, um, they've kind of fallen apart. Um, all week, we've kind of been throwing hand grenades at each other, um, you know, forcing each other to face ourselves. And, uh, and for me, me stepping more into my truth and to, you know, trying to be vulnerable and open up and communicate and... You know, there's just not been a whole lot of receptivity there. And uh, there's been a lot of imbalance in our relationship. And I decided that I just can't, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want the imbalance anymore. I'm a Libra. I'm all about the balance. <laughs> well, I'm right on the, it's interesting. I'm a Libra, but I my birthday is September 23rd. So I am right on the Virgo Libra cusp. So how's that for needing balance? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's been tough. It's been a very, very tough week. Um, I have been back and forth between just full out sobbing, that ugly cry, <laughs> and, uh, and feeling good. Um, I don't feel good about my situation. You know, I, I have so much love for my divine counterpart, my person. I want to be with him. I wish we can go back to that place of harmony that we've been in for the past few weeks, but it feels like that was latent energy and it felt like the universe was pushing me to step more into myself and appreciate myself more because I was so, you know, if you watch the latest pick a pile, I, I believe it was one that I channeled, you know, you, you can't just be give, give, give. You have to be take, take, take too. Like everything is about balance. Everything is about harmony, especially on this journey, especially in this kind of relationship. And um, things were very imbalanced for us. I don't blame him. I have nothing but love for him. I mean, he has tried to open up, but we are just not aligned. We're just not aligned. Um, what's funny about that is I did believe that we were coming more and more into harmony with each other, and maybe this is part of the process. The truth is, I've not been on this journey before. I don't know. I don't know except for what I channel from spirit, from what I feel in my heart. In my heart, I still feel source, God, whatever that love energy is, I still feel that gentle nudge saying you're on the right path sweet girl is what they're saying <laughs> you're on the right path just be gentle with yourself be gentle with yourself love yourself and so that's what I've been doing um especially this weekend I was gonna you know upload a bunch of videos for you guys um but uh I have found myself just feverish and with a sore throat which is resolving interestingly enough, as I communicate more and more with my divine counterpart, even though it doesn't look so pretty. Um, but that's me stepping into my strength. That's me speaking my truth. And um, I have to honor myself. I have to honor that. I have to honor myself. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to be as loving as possible, but it's sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes it can be, it can be difficult, right? Um, but it's funny because I feel like I'm really releasing a lot of throat chakra issues um, around myself as I open up and be more vulnerable and speak from my heart space um, because that is who I am. You know, that's I'm speaking from a place of love, always from a place of love. Um, there's nothing but love for my, my person. There really isn't. But I also have to have love for myself. Um, and... Uh, I don't think I was loving myself as much as I as I could have because I was so focused on him and uh, I was not receiving. It was not balanced. It was not a balanced relationship. Um, I was giving much more than I was receiving and you know that feels selfish for me to say um, because I want to be that nurturer. I want to be that giver and all my life I've been a giver. That's just in my nature but um, 
So it feels so selfish of me to say that, but life is about balance. And that is one of the greatest lessons I'm learning is that you have to be open to receiving. That is that is the harmony within yourself. You have to, it's, it's both. You have to be able to do both. Um, and uh, part of giving to myself was been articulating my standpoint, articulating what has been causing me such turmoil and strife in my relationship with him. And, um, you know, if, if he doesn't want to receive that, that can't be on me. You know, I, I gave, I offered that if he doesn't want to receive that, you know, that's, that, that's on him. Um, but I, I had to stand up, you know, I had to be the empress. I know I am. If we're speaking in tarot, <laughs> I had to be the empress that I know I am. Um, you know, because, the whole year, I've been very Queen of Cups energy. Just give, give, give. Love, love, love. And uh, sometimes you have to take action. And sometimes you have to make things happen. And sometimes you have to be kind of blunt and have that clarity and communication. So you have to be the Queen of Cups, and you have to be the Queen of Swords, and you have to be the Queen of Pentacles, and you have to be the Queen, what am I missing, Queen of Wands. And you have to step into your empress energy, your divine feminine energy. You have to step up. And uh, that's what feels good. That's what that's the part that feels good. But the rest of it, it feels really, really bad. <laughs> it feels really, really painful. And uh, I don't want to cause him pain. I don't want to cause me pain. But it's almost like I feel a hand on my shoulder again. It feels like the universe is saying it'll be okay, and I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what okay looks like. I don't know what this journey looks like, honestly. I have just been leading from my heart this entire year, um, and I say this entire year because that's really when this ascension journey was triggered for me, but I have just been leading from my heart from day one um, since we were re reunited, since we met, so to speak, because um, we've known each other almost all of our lives. Um, but when we met, man, it was a shockwave. It was intense, and uh, the feelings were very, the feelings of love were there, and um, I think it scared us both. I didn't expect it. I didn't even want it, truth be told. Um, or I wasn't looking for it, but they were there, and so I let my heart guide me. I let my spirit lead me. I let my soul say, this is what's going on. Just go with it. Just go with it. And I followed my heart, and it led me back to him time and time again. And it led me to this place of just complete beauty. We kept getting closer and closer this summer. You know, there were obstacles in our way that could have torn us apart, that could have torn us apart, that should have torn us apart. But we were there for each other, both of us. We were there. And um, somehow the universe had our back because we manifested the best possible outcome for ourselves despite the situation we found ourselves in. And um, it allowed us to grow closer and be closer and be together. And uh, so now, despite all of that, despite having been together and gotten through that, this feels kind of awful that we find ourselves here, you know, not communicating with each other, you know, not, you know, me laying down the resistance and uh, surrendering and, just not knowing where we go from here. So I still believe in this journey. I've said from day one that this journey is about ourselves. Um, it is about our own ascension. And the more we come in alignment with ourselves, the more we come in alignment with our divine counterpart. So our divine counterpart aside, I've seen the transformation inside of myself. This journey has opened up my intuition. And I've doubted that. I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was going crazy. I doubted the love I felt from him. I doubted the love I felt from Source. I doubted the experiences, the phenomena I was having. Um, but I realized that I've had that phenomena, those gifts, my entire life. I just suppressed them. We all have those gifts. We just suppress them by societal conditioning. And I finally was not afraid to face them anymore. And it was like that opened up a whole new world for me. Um, so I have experienced clairsentience, I've experienced, experienced claircognizance, um, that's how I channel. I've been channeling for almost a decade, um, but I used to do it through a process, because I'm a writer, um, I used to do it through a process called automatic writing, um, but now I opened it up in a new way, through these tools of tarot and oracle cards. Um, 
but I can also, um, even just when I'm talking, I'm channeling messages, um, and it feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. It feels a connection, and I, I have to forgive myself for doubting, um, because I really did think I was going crazy, but it's just, this is what we're ascending to. This is what we're ascending to, opening our gifts. And I don't know what it's called, but when you can smell something that's not there, that is not supposed to be there, you know, over the summer, I experienced that. My uh, divine counterpart burned Palo Santo and sage, and I was smelling that where there shouldn't have been any um, before I started burning that myself. I was smelling that, um, and I knew that he was with me. I knew he was there. I would hear him laughing. He does a, a funny little smirk that I love, and uh, I would hear him laughing. Um, and doing that smirk. Um, one time I even heard him speaking, but it was so garbled I couldn't make sense of it. Um, one time I felt our energy superimposed. It was like I was looking out of his blue eyes. You know, you can think you're going crazy or you can trust. You can disbelieve or you can choose to believe. And there came a point where I just chose to have faith. And when I did that, it opened everything up for me. Everything up. And so... Despite where we are, I'm still having faith. I'm still believing. Um, I'm still on this journey. I'm still on this journey for myself because I love how my life has transformed. I do. Um, I hope that we can come back together someday. I hope that we can come back into harmony. You know, I hope that we continue to face ourselves and look in the mirror and grow and heal. Um, I'm certainly going to continue to do the work. I hope that he continues to do the work consciously. Um, I think the universe is going to continue having our backs and, and, you know, hopefully bringing us together. But until then, I think this time apart was kind of orchestrated for us. Because I had to remember how to step into my own divine light, into my own authentic soul self. I had to remember how to be the empress and step into my power. And um, that's what this is teaching me. You know, I learned that through chronic illness. I really did. I learned how to save my own life and step into my power, and be independent, and speak up for myself, and speak my truth, but, uh, this is a new level of that, and on this journey, we are always leveling up, the universe likes to kick our ass into action, you know, it, it will not let us stay stagnant for long, and I think that that's what happened this week, um, especially with the full moon, releasing endings, new beginnings, um, especially with Venus in retrograde, forcing us to face the shadow aspects of ourselves, I think it's all coming up for purging, um, and it just feels horrible. It feels really, really horrible. But I think that's where we are. And um, I think the collective is feeling it too. And so I just want to get some guidance from your, um, our higher selves for us. How are we doing? How can we move forward? How can we keep having faith? How can we keep leveling up? So that's what we're doing today. So we have these three piles. We're just going to channel some messages. I also have a deck here for additional messages from spirit at the end um we're going to do piles one two and three now this is rose quartz i'm not sure what these two are i was at a renaissance fair um last summer and they had a, a gemstone stand and i pulled these uh chakra it was a uh, seven or eight gemstones um all about the chakras and I have used those repeatedly these, this year. It's beautiful. But I'm not exactly sure what these are. This is, of course, it's for the throat chakra. This is for um, brow chakra, third eye chakra. And this is for uh, crown chakra. Um, but I'm not quite sure um, what they are aside from this being rose quartz. So if you guys want to educate me, drop a line in the comments. Um, I would be happy to know what they are. Um, because they're, they're really beautiful stones. Um, so we're going to go with one, two, and three. We'll just do um, blue, uh, purple, and pink, um, throat, um, crown, or brow, and crown. So go ahead and pick your pile, and we'll see what messages your higher self and spirit has for you. Okay, everyone, if you picked group one, pile number one, this is going to be your reading. We're going to set that aside and see what the cards have in store. What does your higher self have for you as far as messages and guidance on this journey? So let's see what cards we've pulled. Okay, it's interesting because I've pulled, I pulled these two cards um, in a personal reading today. So I'm very, very curious to see what kind of messages I'm channeling here. And if, if we can't see so well um, what the words are, don't worry. I will read them and hold them up. Um, 
one of these days we're going to get a better setup but until then we are going to work with what we've got all right you guys um give me one second i'm going to take a look at what we have and channel some energy from spirit messages from spirit um see what the energy is for you guys i'm just going to put it out there overall the energy is very peaceful and calm um so let's see what we've got okay if you guys listen to my intro or listen to the past few intros on the past few pickle piles and oracle readings um which i will actually link in the description box below um as i usually do um well, first of all, thank you, um, because that is my personal journey, um, and so I do, you know, appreciate you guys being there and listening as I share that personal experience. Um, again, a reminder that we are all on different paths, even though it is the same journey, um, and that's actually a beautiful reminder. Um, Spirit is saying to me right now, remind them that they are all individual, beautiful souls, authentic souls with within the, the unity, within the connection, um, within this life. Um within unity consciousness so that was actually a nice reminder from spirit but what i'm being called to say is if you listen to that intro um and it resonated with you i believe that you guys are kind of where i am um maybe there has been maybe like a hiccup in your journey with your divine counterpart maybe you're experiencing a mini or a full dark night of the soul um but something has kind of There's, com there's some kind of upset happening, some kind of upheaval that feels maybe different from before, um, that feels maybe a little bit more severe than before, that you're not quite certain how you're going to move forward or, you know, where you're supposed to move forward or how you're moving forward or what you're even moving forward to. Um, because the energy here is one of compassion. It is one of gentleness. It is one of, I'm hearing the word grace, and it is one of faith. Spirit is calling for you to have faith. Um, I'm not sure where to go. Well, I'll go here. Um, so we have, it says Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. And let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Can you guys see that? So what Spirit is saying to me, it's a very calming energy, a very, very um, gentle, peaceful, um, <laughs> I, it's funny because I just heard the word grandmotherly, like and Spirit was like, do you want to say it, grandmotherly? Um, yes, it is a very grandmotherly energy. Um, it's very calming spirit because we, and we even have Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Um, it is a very, you know... It's a very there, there energy. Things are going to be okay. Things are going to work out. What I'm getting from spirit is that this is the divine plan, that this is meant to happen. Whatever it is that you're experiencing right now on the 3D, whatever turmoil or confusion or chaos, or I'm hearing the word despair, whatever feelings of pain that you're experiencing on this journey, whatever loss of faith they're saying, or dark night, um, they're saying it's okay. They're saying, don't fight yourself. Don't fight it. Don't fight that feeling uh, because that's just going to create more resistance is what they're saying. They're saying, this is all part of it. They're saying, you know, it's okay to be a spiritual person and lack the faith sometimes. They're saying, it's okay to be a spiritual person and lose that belief because that doesn't mean you're any less spiritual. It just means that you are human and you are a spiritual being having a human experience. First and foremost, never, ever forget that. They're very adamant about that. I'm getting like a, a, a finger wag. <laughs> it feels like this is like a very grandmother energy because I'm getting that finger wag. They're saying, you're human. Don't forget that. Don't you forget that. Um, so it's actually, it's actually really nice. Like I kind of want, it's funny because I just got an image of milk and cookies and I kind of like want to sit down with this energy and just have milk and cookies with her. It's really funny. Um, but what they're saying is like, they're saying, we're giving you words of advice. They're saying, trust yourself, trust this journey, have faith in that. Know that you are an individual, beautiful, authentic soul 
who is just experiencing a difficult time and that's okay because you are human. They're saying this is a learning experience for you. This is growth. This is transformation. They're pulling me next to this Winter's End card. Um, it says regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. There's a couple messages here that I think I'm going to come back to throughout the reading. I'm being called to. But what they're pointing me to here is the word regeneration and rebirth. And that's exactly what it, what it is. Um, exactly what I was saying in the um, intro, because I feel like I channeled some of that as well um, from my higher self perhaps, but it's exactly what I was saying about the full moon um, being an ending of, some, of one thing and the beginning of something new. Um, because it has felt like a rebirth. It has felt like a death. I have pulled the death card so many times. The death and the tower card is interesting because those two in personal readings and readings for personal clients, those two cards have come out repeatedly. And it really does feel like a shakeup um, with the tower card. The universe has been kicking our ass, um, pushing us to transform, pushing us to get out of that energy that we were in. Um, we were trapped in patterns. We were trapped in cycles that were no longer serving us. Um, they did serve us before, Spirit is saying. You know, it was good. It's led you here, they said. Everything is a path, and that path led us here. But what I'm hearing them say now is that that, was, that, that cycle came to an end, and you were not, they're saying you were not willing to get out of that energy yourself, so we had to give you a gentle push. Um, it didn't feel like a gentle push. It felt like a shakeup. It felt like tower energy. Um, but they're saying that was to serve your highest good because you would not have gotten out of that energy yourselves. Um, so that that's like the, <laughs> that's like the stern finger wag I'm getting again. You're like, you know, you wouldn't have done it yourself, so we're going to do it for you. We're going to kick you out of the nest. Um, and that's exactly what happened. And then I, we kept getting the death card, and death meant transformation. And that's exactly where we find ourselves now. This is the period of transformation. So I'm being reminded, when I was very sick with chronic illness, um, I, uh, I posted something about butterflies uh, that I had learned. And what happens with butterflies is that when they're caterpillars, they go into their chrysalis and they they don't become butterflies like that. What they actually do is they become goo. Um, caterpillars transform into this gooey substance before they blossom into the butterfly. And spirit is calling me to that image because that's where we are right now. Um, we are in that gooey substance. It feels like we're breaking down. It feels like we are transforming into something, into nothing is what, what it feels like. It feels like we're, we're transforming into nothing, like we're regressing perhaps, like we are, um, like we just want to hide under the covers is, is what I'm hearing. And what actually is what I did, you know, for the past few days, I've just needed to step into a lot of self-care mode and just sleep, just sleep. And uh, Spirit is saying, this is the beginning of your transformation as you transform into that butterfly, as you let set yourself free. I'm being called to this image, if you guys can see. Um, it's a woman who is has an open palm and it's like these leaves are blowing free. Um, this is what you're doing, you're setting yourself free. You're, you're opening your hand, releasing that control, releasing what you've been holding on to so tightly, old patterns of belief that don't no longer serve you, old habits, old cycles, um, any negative energy, you're releasing that. You're releasing that to spirit is what I'm hearing. You're releasing that to spirit so that they can take care of that, so that they can transform that as you transform. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, so it's interesting. What I'm being called to next, so we, this is October. We, when you read, when you get this message, um, it could be any time of year. Um, when you get it, it's right for you. When it resonates with you, it means it's right for you. Um, so don't look at time. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Life is circular. We keep coming back to things that are meant for us. Um, but what I'm being called to is the fact that we are in October and we just had the hunter's moon, the full moon in Taurus. Um, it was very powerful, you guys. It was it was very very intense, and I have been feeling a shift all week. I actually I had a I had been feeling a shift in energy for a couple weeks leading up to that. That something big was going to happen. I thought it was going to be positive. Unfortunately, it was negative. I still do believe that there's something coming. I still do believe that there is harmony coming. I just don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that means. Um, but I feel like it's shifting us into something different. 
Um, that's the energy that I'm getting. I'm getting um, the word here, rebirth. Um, I think that's what's coming. I think that's what's coming. I really do think this is the transformation that we've needed to come into, to, to level up, to come into greater harmony with something, with ourselves, to come into greater balance with ourselves. You know, you know, I know we want the relationship with our divine counterparts. I'm hoping that it's, you know, up leveling in our relationships as well. Because we want that, you know, we want that. But if not, at least we're coming into transformation, up leveling within ourselves. And that is what's important on this ascension journey. Um, but what I'm getting, oh boy, they just reminded me that we, we got the unity card. So I'll get to that message in a second. But what I'm saying is, so the, the energy has been very intense this fall. I think a lot of us have been feeling this um, from, I think, August up until now, and I think it's going to go through November. I'm just getting a very strong feeling that things are going to shift in November and December. Um, but this autumn, it's interesting because we have the image of the leaves here, and then it's right next to the card Winter's End. And it's interesting because this all feels like a, a yearly cycle. Um, this is reminiscent of spring. We have the storms of summer. We have the letting go of fall and we have the rebirth of winter. Um, the It's interesting. I say the word rebirth and winter, um, but that's true. Um, winter is the ending of something so that we can be born again into something new. And it, it's interesting because this is all cyclical. It's all cyclical. So we have especially these two cards back to back right next to each other. Um, it's a letting go so that we can come into something new. And do you see how she's naked? This is actually a really beautiful card. Do you see how she is stripped down? Um, this is who we are right now. We are becoming stripped down so that we can become who we really are. We are opening ourselves up and being more vulnerable. Um, because that's what we have to do if we really want to step into the soul of ourselves. If we really want to understand who we are as light beings, we have to strip down ourselves. Now, again, I'm being called to say, listen to Pick a Pile 2 from the last two um, energy reads. Um, I'm going to link it there because that was a message that Spirit is so adamant about. And again, they're like, they did not get the message. It is there for somebody. You do not have to lose your individual soul identity. They're saying it again. You don't have to lose your individual soul identity to become more authentically you to become the soul of who you are, to become unity consciousness. They're directing me to this card now. That's not what unity consciousness is about. Unity consciousness is knowing that we are connected by energy, that everything in this world is connected through energy, that we are all connected to each other as brothers and sisters of God, as brothers and sisters of love energy, of source energy, that higher being, whatever it is that you choose to call it, whatever that higher energy is, we are all connected by love. But we are also individuals who have our own vibrations, who have our own frequencies, our own soul frequencies, who have our own soul experiences that we carry through lifetimes, who have our own lessons that we have to learn, that we choose to learn before we incarnate into these physical bodies. We carry that with us. We don't lose that. We don't lose that identity. We don't lose that soul song of who we are. That is not what unity consciousness is. And they are saying this message for somebody. Um, I had not channeled that message before. I had not understood that message before. Um, I did not truly understand unity consciousness except for understanding um, on a very simple level that we're all connected. Um, so that message is coming direct from spirit. I don't even fully understand it yet, even though I've been feeling it, the connection more and more and more um, on this journey. But that message is direct from spirit because <laughs> I don't even... I'm not even there yet, honestly, on my journey. Um, I'm, I'm feeling it more and more, but um, I, I did not understand that fully. But they are saying, you know, you do not lose yourself. You do not lose yourself. That is a very, very strong message. And now that's passed. Um, that energy has passed. That was for somebody. Um, so where were we <laughs> before that message came? Um Oh yeah, so she is, she's bare naked. She is stripping down to who she is so that she can come up again in light, so that she can be who she truly is as her authentic soul self. And what I'm being called to say is that's the miracle and the blessing of this journey. Um, they're also saying, look at this as a gift. Look at this time of reprieve. Look at this time, even this dark night of the soul, this pain. They're saying this pain is a gift because everything has its gift, is what the, the words here say. Um, they're saying... 
I'm being called to this card again, this Grandmother of Jesus card, and it's saying, I'm seeing laying foundations. And what they're saying is that you are laying the foundation for the next level of your ascension journey. You are laying the foundation for the next level of your life because you are not who you were. You can look back, but you can't go back. Look back, they're saying, to see how far you've come. Look back to know that you are not the person that you were. Look back to know that you have raised your vibrations so high and you cannot lower them for anybody or even if you try. Even if you try because you are so anchored into that higher vibration that even if you try, you cannot go back. Um, so they're saying look back. But know that you can't go back because that's in the past and look ahead. They're saying there's nothing wrong with looking ahead. Look towards the future. Um, be present but look towards the future because it's something beautiful. You're laying the foundation for your future. Um, I'm also being called to this medicine woman. Um, and I'm getting two uh, messages here. Um, it says you are a channel for divine healing power. And that is very literal. They want me to say that that is very literal. You are worthy of healing. You are on this journey to heal, is what they're saying. That is part of the plan. That is part of the purpose. That is part of the miracles and the blessings and this regenerations and rebirth. Um, but what they're saying, with the what I'm getting from Medicine Woman, is to take care of yourself. If you need to spend a couple of days in bed, st spend a couple of days in bed. Do not be hard on yourself on this journey. Do not be hard on yourself that you are not as ascended as you wish you were. Do not be hard on yourself that you are not in connection with your divine counterpart. Do not be hard on yourself that your gifts are possible are not as open as you would like them to be. Do not be hard on yourself that you are not as, you know, that you're not perhaps feeling as vibrationally high as you would like to be. Whatever the case may be, wherever you find yourself now, they're saying do not be hard on yourself. Take care of yourself. Medicine, what I'm hearing is medicine comes in all forms. It, um, so they're saying raise your vibrations. They're saying do what you need to do to keep your vibrations high. I'm hearing music. I'm hearing writing. I'm hearing spending time in nature, spending time with family and friends who perhaps understand this journey, who understand your growth process. Um, they're, um, they're saying step away from people who are toxic to you right now. Um, at least take some time for yourself so that you can properly heal. Um, but what they're saying is, this is your medicine. Um, so embrace that medicine. Embrace yourself. Self-care, self-love. That's what this is all about. Because that's also laying the foundation. The more you love yourself, the more you ascend. The more you come into alignment with yourself. Um, the more you, you raise your vibration. So that is also the foundation for where you're going. And what they're saying is where you're going is somewhere beautiful. It's a manifestation of all your desires. It's a manifestation of the life that you want. Um, I'm also hearing it's a manifestation of how you want to change the world. It's your mission work. You are changing the world by transforming and being born again into who you truly are by stripping away all that soul sludge that I like to call it, all that negative karma, all those, you know, those past patterns of behavior that no longer serve you, those habits, those, um, you know, I'm hearing the word conceal. I think some of you are, are still hiding who you are. Um, so strip away those masks that you're still wearing. The more you do that, the more you come into the lightness of your own being, the more you sing your soul song. And the more you sing your soul song, the more you're born, the more you regenerate into who you truly are. And the more you can move forward into your mission work, the more you can be a light for others. Um, I'm also, so we're going to come to this, un oh, two messages. So we're going <laughs> to... Slow down. <laughs> They're coming very fast. Um, so unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a triple effect across the universe. So the message that I just channeled about um, mission work, that's why I was called to this unity um, card here because the more you step into the light of who you are, the more you can step into your mission, the more you can change the world. Now, I believe that we all have missions as light workers. Some of it is outward expressions of work, such as inner careers. Um, some of it is inward, just being the light of who you are. As you raise your vibrations, what we have to understand, as we step more into our soul song and, and strip down those masks and come more into the lightness of who we are, to how we step more into love and really love, really authentically love another, not hiding love under masks, but really authentically loving one another, that's who we are. That is our nature. That is who we are as souls. It is our natural birthright. It is our natural place in this world. Um, so, you know, express that 
as you want to express that. Express that through music, express that through writing, express that through art, express that through engineering and robotics. Whatever it is your career is, express that. You know, if you want to help people through um, being therapists, if you want to help people being like through oracle readings, um, however you want to help people, you know, that's wonderful. That's your mission work. That's the work. But also understand that you are a light being. And just by those vibrations, just by being light, you are helping the planet. You are helping the planet. So the more you step into love, the more you receive love, the more you accept love, the more you be love, the more you are changing the world. You do not have to be doing anything but being who you are by doing the healing work by allowing yourself the rebirth and the regeneration, by allowing these miracles and blessings that have come into your life to come into your life, by being able to receive, that is what you're doing. Seeding the light, that is what you're doing. You're planting the seeds just by being who you are. Just by being who you are. They're very like, I'm getting that finger again. They're very like, you. do you understand? Do you understand now? I'm getting, okay, so this is going to be channeled directly. Sweet, sweet child. Do you understand that just by being who you are, you are planting seeds? Just by being who you are, you are changing the world. Just by being who you are, you are uplifting the planet. That's a direct quote from Spirit. It was very, very clear. Um, they're saying just by being who you are, you are changing lives. So you can only do that. If you allow yourself to get into that chrysalis, allow yourself to become that goo so that you can transform into the butterfly and you will transform into the butterfly because the last message I have for you is positive outcome, positive outcome. You are laying the foundation now and you're going to have the positive outcome that you are looking for. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. That was just beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull um, from this. What deck is this? This is the, the universe has got your back. Ooh, perfect. Um, we're going to pull um, some final messages from your higher self, from spirit, about your journey and where you are. Um, I feel like that was a really positive energy. Like, I really want to have some milk and cookies <laughs> with somebody's grandma. Oh, crap. I really, I really want to have milk and cookies with somebody's grandma. That was kind of amazing. Um, you guys, these are shuffling all over the place today. I might just have to... I'm going to just have to pull um, from the middle of the deck. What final messages do we have from this collective's higher self? All right. I'm just going to pull from the middle of the deck. We've got, I'm going to pull two, I think. I'm called to pull two. All right. We've got, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is the highest good. Sorry guys, my dog is going nuts downstairs. Um, okay, we also got joy is the ultimate creator. Um, so I'm going to go here first. First, the message that I'm getting is living gratitude. Um, this is, I'm getting in conjunction with this miracles and blessings. See the miracles and blessings of this journey. See that everything that is happening is for your highest good. You are laying the foundation right now. Um, it feels horrible right now, but what you're doing is transforming. You're shedding the old. I'm getting, you know, the snakeskin metaphor. You're shedding the old so that you can come into the new, so you can be reborn. Um, and that is for your highest good. Um, it's for your soul growth. It's for your soul growth. And that's a miracle and that's a blessing. And, and, um, they're saying, you know, to find the gratitude in this, find the joy in this, find, um, try to raise your vibrations so that you can experience that joy. And I'm coming to this now. Joy is the ultimate creator. Um, joy, it's like I was saying before about living your life in love. Live your life in joy. Joy is allowed for you. Um, I'm getting the feeling that some of you have held yourselves back because you're afraid that you're not allowed love. Um, because that is a false perception. That is a false belief. Um, a belief that maybe we have held on to throughout lifetimes. If not, we experience in this lifetime that somewhere that belief was created where we are not allowed love, where we are not allowed joy. But what I'm hearing is allow yourself to experience joy because joy is what creates worlds. Joy is what creates um, more love. More, and that's what we want, more love, more love, more love, more love, not less. 
that's when I just heard spirits say more love. Like they're like, yes, more love. Like that is literally the feeling that I'm getting. Like they're clapping their hands and saying, yes, more love. Um, because that's what it's all about. You know, don't hold back, you know, don't hold back as far as shining your light. Um, don't hold back when it comes to loving another, don't hold back when it comes to being who you are and loving yourself. Um, because that love just amplifies. I'm getting, I'm calling back to this unity card. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Um, you shine your light, you love another, and that has a ripple effect on others and others and others. You come together with one person and love, and it does not dim your light. It just amplifies it. It does not dim your love. It just amplifies it. Joy is what creates. Joy is what creates love. Love is what creates the world. Love is what changes the world. Um, you know what? I was looking at these Lover's Oracle cards all night. And I'm like, this is not about our divine counterpart. So why would I pull these? But I think maybe they might have a special message for you. So we're going to get one more message and see what we have to say about love, because I think it's all about love. Okay, okay, wait a minute. These are very, very hard to shuffle. All right, spirit. All right, we got friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Well, hell. <laughs> um, well, I can resonate with this. <laughs> um, love, that's it, love. Whether it's friendship or whether it's um, a relationship, it's just love. It is just love and it, I don't know if it's, I was just going to say, I don't know if it's my own experiences that are coloring this because this is resonating very, very strongly with me. Um, but spirit just said, no, this is a message for the collective as well. Because, so I think some of you are, might be in my situation as well. Um, where maybe your relationship was not moving forward like you would like to. Um, but what I'm hearing is friendship is just a label. And relationship is just a label. They're saying move beyond those labels and just experience what it is you're experiencing. Don't hold back because love is love. And when you place those labels on and they're saying even friendship is a label. And that's what, <laughs> it's funny because that's what I've been saying to my divine counterpart. Even friendship is a label. Um, when you place those labels on, you're placing boundaries. And when you place those boundaries, you hold yourself back from the light of who you are. You hold yourself back from love. Um, so allow yourself to nurture the bonds of what your relationship is. Allow yourself to nurture the bonds of friendship and allow yourself to drift into love if that's where it's heading. Allow yourself to follow the trajectory of this path. Don't hold back. Don't dim your light. Again, they're saying when you come into harmony with another person, you're not dimming your light. You're not, you're not blocking yourself. You're not, you know, losing yourself in somebody else. You're just allowing yourself the ability for more love so whatever your relationship looks like whatever it is that you want it to be let there be joy don't hold yourself back from the joy is what they're saying don't hold yourself back let it let yourself create whatever it is that you want to create don't hold yourself back because when you hold yourself back then you are holding yourself back from this unity consciousness when you hold yourself back then you are not letting that love amplify so let your relationship live in love is what they're saying all right, you guys, that feels complete. That was a really beautiful reading. Um, if you, if this message resonated with you, that's great. If it did not, don't worry. It's not for you at this time. Feel free to check back or check the other pickup piles because time is fluid, energy is fluid, um, and life is circular. So we always come back to new things with new understanding. Um, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We'll have some more pickup piles and oracle readings and tarot readings coming up soon. Um, make sure you also check out our Instagram and our Facebook page. We're building communities over there with um, additional 
spreads, additional images, and channeled messages, um, and I share some of my own experiences there as well. So make sure you check that out. I am also offering 50% off of personal readings until the end of the year, so make sure you get that. My prices will rise um, after the beginning of the year. I um, usually, you know, channel for between a half hour or an hour, um, but it's just half spreads or full spreads. I don't pay attention to the time. I just channel until the messages are complete, until I feel satisfied that you have what it is you need to hear, um, as you can tell by the length of these videos. So um, go ahead and feel free to reach out to me to book your appointment, to book your reading. Um, Right now, I'm about two to three days behind, so go ahead and book your reading, and we'll get you scheduled in. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. We'll be back soon with another Pick a Pile. Okay, group number two, if you picked this pile, this is going to be your reading. Let's go ahead and put that aside, and let's see what messages your higher self and spirit has for you. Now, group number one's energy was amazing. The messages came out very, very quickly. It was a really beautiful reading. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be the same for you guys. So let's see what your guides and your spirit has for you. You can see all those. Yep, cool. All right. Give me a minute. I'm going to take a look and see what the energies are here, what we have. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, hmm. The word I'm getting from this energy is turmoil. Now, I had the same kind of feeling in group number one that you guys were kind of experiencing like a mini, the collective there was experiencing like a mini dark night of the soul, that they had a lot of chaos and confusion, but it was more of a gentle energy there. It was more of a, like a, you know, like you knew to keep having faith in this. And if you guys hear that, um, that sound, that's my dogs with the bones. So I apologize for that if that's distracting you. Um, but going back to this, um, I feel, I feel like in group number one, you knew that it was part of the journey and you were okay. Like you knew that that was part of the path and you knew that you're transforming and, you know, you, you knew that was part of the journey and you, you still have faith here. I feel like there's just... I feel like you feel defeated. And I understand this energy because I, I'm just getting out of it. I felt very defeated and very depleted. Um, I, I understand this energy. I understand this energy very, very much. Um, I feel like you guys, so I, you have my utmost empathy because I'm just, I just got out of this. Um, I feel like you guys just feel defeated. I feel like you feel depleted. I feel like you have just been giving and giving and giving. And you feel like there's nothing left in you. Um, I feel like you have been triggering each other. Um, if you're with a divine counterpart, you've been triggering each other. Or I'm also hearing there is somebody in your life who has been very, very toxic and who has been challenging you. I'm hearing challenging your beliefs, challenging your faith, challenging who you are. Um, what I'm hearing is you have the strength to rise to the occasion um, which we'll get into. I have a feeling that that's going to be the theme of this of this reading, but we'll see. Um, this is all about, this energy is just all about, there's kind of like a chaos within you. I'm getting the, the sensation, like what I'm feeling within like my gut is just like waves of just like a jumble of, of, what I'm seeing is actually like a jumble of strings, you know, like a ball of string that's like all jumbled up, like a cat has gotten to it or something. Like that's what I'm seeing inside of my gut. Like that's like how you're feeling inside of yourselves. Um, all right, so let's let's get into the actual cards here. That's the overall energy, but let's get into the actual cards here. Um, all right. Spirit, where do you want me to go first? Okay, they're pointing me here. They're pointing me to boundaries. Now, what I'm hearing is that you guys have felt empty, but you haven't been filling yourself back up. This is a journey, first and foremost, of self-love. And I'm getting, like, a very calming presence right now because they want, like, your spirit guide is, like, your higher self is, like, full of love for you. And they want you to feel that love for yourself. They want you to fill that love. They want you to fill that cup back up with love 
for yourself. And they're saying that part of that is setting boundaries. So here it says, love yourself enough to say no to others. No. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Well, both messages actually resonate, don't they? Um, love yourself enough. Just love yourself enough to stand in the light of who you are is what Spirit is telling me. They're saying you are a divine being. You are this beautiful, you are an angel of light. You are a divine soul who, you're a goddess. You're a god or a goddess who is an authentic soul, who is a divine being, and you forgot, you've forgotten that. Somewhere along this journey, you've forgotten that. And they're saying love yourself enough to recognize that in yourself. Love yourself enough to set boundaries. Um, so let's talk about boundaries for a little bit. They're calling me to that. And what I'm hearing is, um, so I had trouble with this. I had a lot of trouble with this. People crossing lines, um, me not setting boundaries and sticking with them. Um, no, boundaries are good for us because boundaries are just ways that we can love ourselves and have respect for ourselves. And we have to set that. We have to know ourselves well enough to know where the boundary is, to know where the line is. Um, and this is actually, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is actually triggering me because my divine counterpart is like all about no confines, no boundaries, no lines crossed. And I'm, you know, I can appreciate that about him because I can appreciate what he's saying. Like, how can you be freely loving if you have boundaries? But boundaries are love. That is what spirit is saying. Boundaries are a way to love yourself. Boundaries is a way to have self-respect. You have to set boundaries with others because that is a, a sign of respect for yourself. It's a sign of love for yourself. Um, and it's a way for others to love yourself, to love you. That's what I'm hearing. It's a way for others to love you and for you to love yourself. Um, so boundaries is not a negative thing. If anything, boundaries is just a way to signal to others, here's how you can love me more. Here's how you can love me more. And here's how I can love myself more. And here's how I can love you. Here's the best way that I know how to love you without sacrificing myself. Because that's what it is. When you sacrifice your boundaries, when you um, cross your own line, then you're sacrificing your own love for yourself. And how is that helping anybody? How is that helping you step more into the light of who you are? How is that helping you spread love? It's not. It's not. So you have to recognize the boundary within yourself. You have to recognize the lines that you will and will not cross. And you have to stick to those because that is first and foremost about having respect for yourself. And having respect for yourself is first and foremost about loving yourself. And that is also about welcoming love to you and how you can love others more. Um, so that was actually a very powerful message. Um, I learned something there too. <laughs> Spirit was like, you've got to hear this too, Susan. And so I did. I heard it. And um, that's what I've been trying to do is set more and more boundaries because I do understand that it's about loving myself. I didn't realize it in that context. Um, so this was very helpful for me as well. But uh, but yeah, you know, you, you can't love others as fully as you do if you're constantly crossing your own line. You can't love others as freely as you want to if you're not loving yourself first and foremost. And you're not loving yourself if you're not creating boundaries for yourself. Um, because creating boundaries is just a signal to yourself, this is how I want to be loved. That's all it is. This is how I want to be loved, and this is how I want to give love. Um, that's all it is. And as you step more and more into love, into the love of who you are naturally, then those boundaries are going to grow and expand. But you have to set the boundary first, is what Spirit is saying. You have to set the boundary first and know who you are enough and be aware of yourself enough to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was very interesting. Um, let's go to... Let's go to tolerance. I'm being called to hear you appreciate others' points of view because you sense the love in everyone. And that's what I'm being called to hear. Um, especially, I feel like this is a message for boundaries. There might be another one here. But um, especially for boundaries, what I'm hearing is um, understand yourself enough. Know yourself enough to be able to appreciate others, but also appreciate yourself. And not lose, appreciate yourself enough that you don't lose yourself in other people's viewpoints. Appreciate yourself that you don't lose yourself or sacrifice yourself to what somebody else thinks your boundary should be. If you have a boundary, stick with it. If you have something about yourself that you like um, and that you need, 
that's for you to know. That's for you to decide. Nobody else gets to decide that for you is what I'm hearing. Um, not anybody. Not even your divine counterpart is what Spirit wants me to say. Um, appreciate that about yourself. Appreciate that as you step more and more into yourself, as you recognize yourself more and more, as you appreciate yourself more and more, um, that's going to expand. The love that you feel is going to expand, but you have to know yourself well enough to set that boundary first. Um, they're also saying that, okay, Spirit is also saying that just because you set a boundary does not mean that you're not full of love. Just because um, you demand respect for a boundary does not mean that you are blocking love. A boundary is not a block to love is what they're saying. A boundary is just a way for you to receive and give more love. Um, it's just a way for you to understand how you give and receive love, how you need to give and receive love. It's actually what they're showing me is an open door. Um, so a boundary, so like a door isn't, a boundary you know we think it is because it's you know when that door is closed that's like a firm you know like don't cross this but an open door allows you to you know come and go and that's what love is it allows you to come and go um while still understanding this is where i am this is where i am on this side of the door um and so it's allowing love, which is free-flowing, which is energy, to come and go through that open door. A boundary, that's just, that's what a boundary is. It, it sets up where you are um, and what you need, uh, but then it allows love to come and go. It allows love to move freely. It allows you to love everyone is what I'm getting. It allows you to appreciate everyone more because it allows you to appreciate and love yourself more. Um, so you have to know your starting point is what Spirit is saying. You have to know um, how do you respect yourself. And you have to have enough respect for yourself to know um, where you are, where you are as far as on your journey. Okay. I feel like we're going to come back to that. So let's let's hold off there for a second. Um, what I'm being called to is... Okay, I'm looking here and I'm getting messages here. We have Moonlight goddess and it's interesting because we just had the full moon which is all about endings um to make way for new beginnings and um with the traditional tarot especially the moon card um is all about illusions being shattered perceptions shifting perspectives changing kind of like illuminating what's real um so what i'm getting from this we have repressed emotions healing reflection and what I'm getting is that some of you are really going inward and you're trying to figure out what's real on this journey and what isn't. You're trying to figure out where do I stand on this journey. You're trying to figure out mm, you're trying to figure out how do I move forward. And I think a lot of that is because you haven't created boundaries for yourself, especially with your divine counterpart, especially with yourself. Um, because you haven't been loving yourself enough. I feel like a lot of you have been putting all of your effort into the other person versus all the effort into yourself. You have to fill up your cup first. You have to, I'm being drawn to this pearl here. Um, it's almost like, so it's express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Um, you have to give yourself the gift of love first. You have to give yourself the pearl of love first. Um, before you can give it to anybody else because otherwise you're just repressing yourself otherwise you're just holding yourself back um, otherwise you're not seeing things for how they truly are and you have to see three things through a lens of the self through a lens of love for self first because as within so without you create within yourself and that that and then that reflects in your outside world um, that feels like a very narrow-minded statement it feels like it's very selfish but spirit is reminding us that it's not because you are a soul having an individual experience you are your own soul your own your own authentic light being you are divine you are a god or a goddess is what they're saying they're saying you have to fill yourself back up first you have to do all channel all things through your love first and then that ex that extends to the outside world um, I've used this metaphor before with my divine counterpart actually, but I'm being, I keep being called to it, this image, so I'm going to say it. Um, it's a lighthouse. We are lighthouses. Um, we shine the light within ourselves and then that reflects out to everybody else. Um, but we can't dim our light. We cannot dim our light for ourselves. We have to first and foremost shine for ourselves. Um, 
again, I'm just being called back to this boundaries card. You have to have love for yourself. And part of having love for yourself is setting boundaries for yourself. What will you tolerate? How much? What Spirit is saying is how much are you going to sacrifice of yourself? Because that's what a boundary is. Boundary is saying I'm not sacrificing myself for this. Boundaries are saying I deserve more. Boundaries are saying I respect myself enough to not tolerate this. I respect I respect myself enough to appreciate who I am and know what I deserve. And what I deserve is love. What I deserve is healing. What I deserve is a way to grow. And you cannot grow and heal and love unless you fill yourself up first. You cannot appreciate other people. You cannot lift other people into love until you appreciate yourself first. And that comes from setting boundaries. Now, I'm finally being called. This actually is moving very quickly. Um, I'm being called to this mirror card. It says, who or what is triggering you? Um, a couple messages here. Um, the first one is obvious, um, especially with our divine counterparts. What I'm being called to say is, how are they reflection, reflecting ourselves? How are they showing us ourselves? But the other message is, you see how they, this woman is looking in the mirror, um, looking in this, um, I don't know what she's looking in, like this water, and she's seeing a reflection of herself. This is a call to be honest with yourself. This is a call to actually face yourself. I'm being called to say, find the strength in yourself to face yourself to look in your own mirror because yes our divine counterparts are our reflections and yes they show us the truth of ourselves but we also have to be honest with ourselves enough and find strength in ourselves enough and have the courage and bravery in ourselves enough to face ourselves and look in our own mirror and be honest what are our boundaries what have we been sacrificing for somebody else what have what are we deserving that we're not getting or spirit is also saying what have we been withholding? What have we been holding back? Repressed emotions. I'm coming to this card again. What have you been holding back? What have you been hiding? What have you been not expressing? What have you been not communicating? Where have you not been vulnerable with yourselves? What do you need to shed this moonlight on? What, sh what illusions do you need to shatter within your own journey, within your own self? Um, to change, to transform, to come into greater lightness of who you are, to, to, to keep transforming on this journey, to keep moving forward on this journey because, you know, you're on a journey. You're on a journey and it's a beautiful thing and they want you to keep going. They're, they say have faith in this. Have faith in who you are but they want you to face yourself. It's very hard but what I'm hearing is that you have divine guidance behind you. You have guidance behind you. You have the masters and angels and loved ones, you have a whole spiritual support team is what they're saying. Like, I just feel the presence of the, just this collective behind me, just rooting you on. Um, I'm getting like hands on my shoulders feeling. And, and that's actually something I've been getting a lot. Just hands on my shoulders, just saying we're with you. We're with you. Spirit is with you. You are not doing this alone. Um, but you have to reflect. You have to look inside of yourself. You have to look in the mirror. Um, you have to love yourself enough to set boundaries for yourself and say, what is it that I deserve? Or what is it that I'm hiding from? What is it that I am not giving to myself? What is it that I'm repressing? Whichever, uh, those are a lot of messages. Whichever one of those resonates with you, reflect on that. Reflect on that. Um... I don't have any other messages for this. I, that went very, very quickly. I don't have any other messages for um, this spread as it is. What's interesting is in the last group, I was called to... Um, so I have this, the universe has your back deck, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Um, but I was also called to pull from the Lover's Oracle deck. I'm not called to use that this time. What I'm called to here is I actually brought it out. It's this Keepers of the Light deck. I actually pulled it out and then decided to use the um, Goddess Guidance deck instead for the spread. But I, something told me to keep it out, and I did. And I have a feeling that this is for you guys um, because I feel like you're feeling a lot of turmoil. You're feeling very upset, and I feel like you're feeling alone. And Spirit just wants you to know that you're not alone. So I'm going to pull... Um, well, first I'm going to pull a message from this, the universe has your back, because they're like, yeah, the universe does, has your, does have your back. You know, trust that you're not alone. I'm going to pull a message from here, and then I'm going to pull a final message 
from your Ascended Masters, from the Keepers of the Light, and see what they have to say for you. Um, because I feel like this was very harsh, and I apologize. It was, you know, it wasn't a bad energy. There's nothing negative here. Um, I feel like you guys are just going through a very hard time, and you have my utmost empathy. Um, but there's learning here, is what Spirit wants to say. You know, listen to these messages. Take them at, at heart. Um, reflect on them. Learn from them, because this is part of growth. Have the courage. I keep hearing, have the courage to look in the mirror yourself. You know, you can look at your divine counterpart to be a reflection, but at some point I'm hearing you also have to look in the mirror and um, to face yourself. And that is the hardest thing that we can ever, ever do. And it's the bravest thing. Oops. Okay, these two wanted to come out. It's the bravest thing that we could ever, ever do. Um, so here. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. This is beautiful. This is the universe having your back. They're saying, trust us. Trust us. This, trust that this is part of your journey. And that even though you might be going through some darkness right now, trust that we're bringing you back to light. Because we're bringing you back to yourself. That's a direct channel for message. You heard me saying we. Like, that is directly channeled. Um, they're saying that, that trust in them because they're going to be bringing back... They're going to be bringing you back to the light of who you are. That's part of this transformation. And sometimes we have to face the darkness in order to get back to the light of who we are. In order to um, dispel, dispel the darkness. Dispel the darkness is what I'm hearing. And then we also have oneness is my true nature. Um, I'm getting a feeling. Go listen to group number uh, one. Um, because there was a very adamant message there about unity consciousness. And what's interesting here is um, oneness is my true nature. So what they're saying is um, we're all connected. We're all con I mean, we channel for the collective, right? Like we're all connected by energy. Oneness is my true nature. Um, okay. Okay. It's funny because this came out as well. Okay. This came out as well, and I, it was too many cards, so I put it back. Um, but I was just listening to Spirit, what they were saying. They are like, no, go pull that card. So it says, energy flows where my intention goes, and these go together. So this message, it, somebody is listening to this whole video to all of these groups. Um and it's on purpose because they need to hear this message because this message is for them. It's the same as the last pick of piles. Um, maybe they didn't hear the message then, um, but I have been channeling this for the past couple of days. Um, there is a message here that they want to hear. What? That they want you to hear. What this is. Oneness is my true nature. Energy flows where my intention goes. What they're saying here is, what Spirit is, is saying is, we are all connected through energy. I just want to say, just go listen to group number one, but I'll repeat it um, because spirit is repeating it. What they're saying is energy. We're all energy. We're all connected through energy. That is what oneness is. That is what um, that is what unity consciousness is. But we are also individual souls. We are also um, spiritual beings having human experience. We're individual souls who have carried in our own lessons, who have carried in our own experiences as far as lifetimes on this planet. And other planets spirit wants to remind me um we are all souls who have our own identity in a way you know we have this human construct this human identity but we also have a soul identity because we have a soul frequency because we have a soul vibration um spirit is saying you know everything is energy everything has their own frequency and vibration and even though we're all connected by you know, by energy even though we're all connected as one as brothers and sisters we all still have our own energy signature song and so what they're saying is even though oneness is my true nature that is who we are they're saying you are also you you are also your own divine god or goddess they're saying so don't be afraid to look in the mirror and see yourself don't because what they're saying is that you've been holding back you've been kind of lost in this oneness and so you haven't really been looking in the mirror and seeing yourself and you haven't been setting boundaries you haven't been loving yourself as yourself You've been loving others. Oh boy, I know who this is for. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I hope this resonates with you as well, but I know there's somebody in my life that this is for as well, and it is going to trigger the crap out of them. 
Um, Spirit is saying, fuck. Spirit is, I'm so sorry, you guys. Spirit is saying, you're getting so lost in the oneness that you're forgetting who you are as a soul. You're getting so lost in that love is everything and love is everything. Love is everyone, but you're getting so lost in that that you're afraid you're, yeah, you're afraid of loving yourself. You've forgotten how to love yourself. You've forgotten, and that's part of this boundaries thing. Loving yourself, you have not set boundaries with anybody. You have not set boundaries with others. You have not set boundaries within yourself. And so through that, you've gotten a little bit lost. That's what part of this turmoil is creating inside of you. Um, I'm also being called again to this repressed emotions card. Um, you're doing the healing work but you're still hiding your emotions. You're still repressing your emotions because you're repressing the truth of who you are. You're repressing the truth of your own soul song is what I'm hearing. Um, oneness is my true nature. We are connected to everyone, but we are also individuals. We are also energy that flows. Um, that's a really hard message, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's a really hard message. Oh, boy. I'm going to pull two cards from this deck. That one just flew out. It's just further validation of everything I've been saying. Spirit, what else do you have to say? You've got one more in us. This is a very, very difficult read, I've got to say. It's a very difficult read. I almost don't want to post this video because this is such a difficult read. Um, because I have a feeling I know who this, is, this message has been... You know, it's funny because for the past few pick a piles, like the energy was just so adamant. They're like, this is for somebody. Like this is, you know, somebody needs to hear this. Like it was just so strong. I just had to keep repeating it. Um, and so, it, it, yeah. All right, you guys. A little bit of a longer spread. I haven't done this for the other card, for the other groups. Um. For group number one but this is necessary so I'm gonna go with it they're not done yet so we have Sir Nunos life force it says express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased now sexual powers is not about sex sexual powers is about stepping into who you are um, sensual sensuality is about creativity sexual powers is about your identity of who you are it's about stepping into the soul of who you are so what they're saying is step into this life force know that you are a life force on your own know that you are a divine being step into that power step into that sexuality step into that to that creativity step into who you are as a light source and we also got Kalima facing fear major spiritual challenges no Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. They're saying, face that fear. Face yourself. Look in the mirror. I'm getting, oh, it's so interesting. I just got a flash of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Um, and what they're saying is, look in the mirror. You have to face yourself because that's part of healing. Um, this reflection on this Moonlight Goddess card, they're also saying this is also your reflection. You have to be able to, to face yourself in the mirror and look at your reflection. It's not just reflecting, it's in contemplation, even though we have prayer and contemplation here, but it's also reflection as in be willing to face yourself and look in the mirror. Face your fears. Um, it can be very, very frightening to face ourselves. That's why look at all these ascended masters that are here with you. Look, you know, you have a spiritual guidance team behind you. You have the love and support, all the love and support that you need in your life to guide you on this journey. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to reach out to them for help. Don't be afraid to say, hey, this is part of my healing journey. Can you help me? Can you help guide me? Can you show me more love? Because I need more love right now. Don't be afraid to set that boundary because that is setting boundaries too. Reaching out for help is setting a boundary. Boundaries are not all about restrictions. I think that's a, a lack of communication. That's the wrong definition. Boundaries are also about saying, this is what I need. This is what I need from you. Give and receive. I said that in the beginning of the of this reading. It's about being able to receive as much as it is about being able to give. Um, so... Under, like face the fear, understand that this is part of your transformation, this is part of your growth. And as you face this fear, as you recognize your own soul song, as you recognize the light of your own being, that yes, you are one 
with the universe. Yes, you are one with your brothers and sisters, but you are also one within yourself. You are also a divine creature within yourself. You are also your own soul song. You are also your own individual frequency, your own vibration. You are also yourself. You have not lost your identity. And again, listen to group number two from the pick a pile. I'm linking in the description because they're saying again, oh my God, it's just so strong. They're saying you're not going to lose yourself by loving another. If anything, it's going to grow. If anything, your love is going to expand because you're expanding. Because as you love yourself, as you come into love with another, you are expanding. It's all about expanding. You're going to soar. And finally, they're saying charity. They're saying be charitable with yourself. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. Again, they're saying be charitable with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Connect with those in your life and connect with those on the higher levels with your divine guidance team because those are going to be the ones who are guiding you through this. This is very tough love, you guys. This is very harsh energy. Um, it's not harsh energy. It's it's very harsh message, um, but it's very loving, very kind energy from your guidance team. Um, they're saying you're not connecting. They're saying that's part of the repression. That's part of the repressed emotions. You are not connecting to your intuition you're not connecting to the soul of yourself you're still in your mind your ego mind um, even if you like to think that you're not in your ego mind if you're not following a path of love if you are still repressing your emotions if you're still holding back um, and not expressing yourself you're still in your ego mind and they want you to unleash that they want you to connect with the divine connect with heaven connect with your own higher self connect with the divine be willing to face yourself enough to do that Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, one more card. I'm being called to one more card, Lover's Oracle. I'm gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get one more card from your higher self to you. What do you need to hear? Um, because this was a very difficult, difficult read. This was a very difficult message. Um, but Spirit is, is pleased. They're like, it had to come out. I just feel bad. <laughs> I just... I feel bad because um, I know how difficult that is to hear, but I have love for you guys. I'm just, oh my God, I have so much love for you guys, and Spirit has so much love for you guys, and your higher self has so much love for you. Um, so just keep feeling that. Just keep feeling that love. Just keep um, stepping into that love. All right, Spirit, can we get one more, one more card of love and guidance for this collective? Oh, that's, that's a lot of cards. I know we've had a lot of cards in this spread, but let's just get one more. Um... Oh my gosh, Spirit. Okay. Chill out. <laughs> All right. One more card of just love and guidance for this collective. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. What I'm being called to hear is what I've said before, is that you're your own soul song, and you carry with you all of your past lives and all the experiences that you've had there and all of the lifetimes that you've shared. And yes, we are one as a whole because we share the same love energy. But what I'm being called to remind you here is that you also carry within you the blueprint of who you are. You know, it's easy It's easy to look at somebody on the street and say, I'm one with them. Because it's true, we are one with them. We are brothers and sisters. We carry the same love. We, we are children of the same divine source. We are one as far as energy. But their experiences are not your experiences. Their vibration is not your vibration. Their frequency is not your frequency. Their memories are not your memories. And that's what I'm being called to here. You have your own blueprint. You have your own soul song. You have your own frequency. You can honor that. You can step into that. It's not... I feel like there are some of you who have been losing yourself in oneness. There have been some of you who have been losing yourself in the idea of unity consciousness. And what Spirit has been channeling to me for the past like two weeks is that that is not unity consciousness. Unity consciousness is understanding that we are all energy and energy flows together. We are all energy, but we also carry our own individual soul songs. We all have our own divine purpose. We all have our own divine mission. As you love somebody, 
don't be afraid of losing that. I feel like that's why we've gotten so lost in this oneness. We've gotten so lost in unity consciousness, why we've kind of misunderstood that. What I'm hearing is that it's just a miscommunication. It's just a misunderstanding because it's just a label. Um, but what they're saying is you can come into alignment with yourself again. You can understand the identity of yourself again. You know, ego, what they're saying to me is that ego is all about stripping down your identity. But I think that we get so lost in stripping down the ego and healing the ego. I like to say ego and not killing, healing the ego and not killing the ego because we really don't need to kill the ego. You know, it has served its purpose. We say thank you and have gratitude for it, but we don't need that anymore because we're shifting into a new paradigm. But what I'm hearing is that we have been so focused on healing the ego, killing the ego, um, that we feel like we've needed to strip down our entire identity and we don't because we are here in this body. We are here on this planet for a purpose. We have our likes and our interests for a purpose. You know, you don't have to be afraid of liking what you like. You don't have to be afraid of wanting what you want. Because you came into this life with that blueprint. Before you were incarnated here, you charted this path for yourself. You charted this path because you had lessons to learn, because you had people to love, because you had experiences you wanted to share. And experience, you wanted to experience. You had karmic cycles you had to close out. And that's all part of identity. So you do not have to strip down your identity completely. Only to the point where you understand that you are a soul. That you are a light being. Strip down your identity to the point where you become more authentically who you are. Where you step more and more into love. More and more into love. Because that is who you are. That is all you are. And if you keep repressing yourself, if you're not doing the healing, if you're not looking at yourself in the mirror, if you are just being so caught up in not setting boundaries, if you're being so caught up in everyone else that you're sacrificing who you are, then how can you step into who you are? How can you be fully love? How can you be fully the soul of who you are? All right, guys, I know that was a harsh, harsher message. I know that was a harsher reading. Um, you have all of my love. Um, truth be told, like I, everything that I just channeled, I don't entirely understand. <laughs> um, so that was from spirit. That was from spirit. That was the message that came through for you. Um, and I hope that you can hear it. Um, I'll be listening back and because I don't, when I channel, I just open my mouth. I don't fully understand what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, so when, as, as I listen back, I hope I come to a greater understanding of that too. Um, I just, I love you guys. I just love you. You just have all of my love. All right, guys, we'll be back, um, next week with another pick a pile. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. We'll have some more soon. Make sure you follow our Instagram, um, and our Facebook page, Susan Dawn Spiritual for both, um, because we'll have some more, um, images, we'll have some more channeled messages, some more spreads, um, things of that nature that you don't find on this channel on YouTube. Um, we'll have that on our other platform, so make sure you check those out as well and follow us on there. Personal readings, um, we go into half spreads or full spreads. Everything is 50% off until the end of the year, so make sure you book now. I channel the messages until they come through, until they're satisfied, until they feel complete, until I feel like you get what you need out of it. Um, just like in this spread, you know, I kept pulling cards because I felt like the messages weren't done. Um, now it feels complete, so we're finished. Um, that's how I do my readings. I just keep channeling. I don't go by a time limit, although a half spread is usually a half hour. A full spread is usually an hour. I just go until the messages are done, so make sure that you book. I'm running about two to three days behind right now, um, but um, send me a message, and if you have a pressing matter such as this, um, we'll get you to the front of the line. Um, again, everything is 50% off until the end of the year, so make sure you book now. We'll be back. Much love to you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, all my blessings and love to you. All right, everyone. If you chose group number three, pile number three, this rose quartz, which right now is representing the crown chakra, then this reading is for you. Now, the last pile was a very intense intense um message i just channel i just want to put a disclaimer out there i just channel the messages um and that message i've been channeling for the past few weeks or for the past few days past two weeks and that message was for somebody um so if it resonated with you um stick with it um that's great if it did not then it was not meant for you um and that's how i feel about all of my readings if it resonates with you it was meant for you at this time if it's not it's not meant for you at this time time is an illusion energy is fluid 
life is circular. We keep coming back to the things that are meant for us. So um, if this does not resonate with you, we'll see what the energies are. If it doesn't resonate with you, take a look at another pick a pile. That's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages your higher self has for you. Where are you on this journey? What kind? What guidance does um, spirit have for you on your ascension journey, your personal journey? Interesting that we got another moon card. I'm just saying the full moon was very intense, very powerful. All right, give me a second. I'm going to take a look at this energy, feel this out, see what messages are coming through from spirit. Whew. Let me release. <laughs> Let me release the last group too. Oh, that was a tough one. Okay. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> I'm very happy because the messages that are immediately coming through, the energy that's coming through is a lot lighter. Actually, I'm going to say playful, and I like this. This is a good energy. This is really good. You guys are in a good spot. Spirit's like, yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> your higher self is like, yeah, I know we are. So you're in a good place on your ascension journey. What I'm getting is, um, what I'm getting is you guys are ascended. You're in a high vibrational place. You've anchored in there. This feels really good. Um, like I usually say, there's still some tinkering to do. I still feel like there's some energy there. Um, Spirit does have some guidance for you, some reminders for you is what it feels like most of all. But overall, it's really good energy. Um, let's, all right, let's start here. We're going to start with the Age of Light. And what I'm getting from Spirit is that you were meant for this journey. You were meant for this ascension journey, as we all are. Everybody on this planet, everybody who is a soul, every living energy um, is meant for ascension. Um, this says you've been training for this for lifetimes. Um, but when I say that you're meant for this, I'm especially speaking to the collective who are the leaders, who are the pioneers. And I channeled this message in the last reading that you guys are the leaders, you guys are the pioneers, that you're on this ascension journey because you have raised your vibrations so high. Because you've had your awakening. And not everybody has had their awakening. Not everybody on this is on the same path as you. And that's okay. Because that just means that they're on their own path. That they are learning what they need to learn. Um, that they're closing out or experiencing their own karmic cycles for their own growth. For their own lessons. Just because they're not on this journey. Just because they haven't had their awakening. Just because they haven't um, experienced... Um, what you've experienced or raised their vibrations to your level does not mean that they are any less than you, does not mean that they are um, not on a journey themselves, of growth themselves. They are growing just at their own pace. You guys, you are like accelerated course of study. You guys are like, went from like kindergarten to college, <laughs> beyond. You went from like kindergarten to like master's courses. Um, I feel that's what I feel for this collective. You guys just you're like, this is what I want, and boom, we're gonna go there. This is because uh, it's it's like you've been training for this for lifetimes. Like you, this, you guys, you've been clearing out. You've been doing the healing work through lifetimes, is what I'm hearing. Um, you have been ascending through lifetimes, and it's like you came to this one point in time on this planet in this body um, to finally clear out the karma, to finally clear out the soul sludge and ascend into the lightness of who you are, to ascend into the truth of who you are as a soul. That's what I'm hearing. Um, because we are in an age of light and you guys are pioneers. You guys are the light workers. You are going to be lifting this planet to a higher level of love, to a higher vibration. You are doing it. You're doing it just by being who you are, just by being on this ascension journey. Um, it's actually really beautiful energy. You know, feel positive in that. Feel you know, feel, feel good about that. Have faith in this journey for that very reason. Like you are doing it. You are ascending. And as you ascend, you're raising your vibrations. And as you raise your vibrations, you raise the vibrations of all those around you and you help to lift them up. Now I'm being called again to say, I've channeled this message before. You might not be lifting them up in the way that you would like. Like it might not be as visible in the 3d as you would like, but remember that everything is energy and everything has an energetic sign signature. And so with your energy being so high, you are naturally going to be affecting other people's vibrations and lifting them up. 
um, but it might be on a subconscious level. That's not up to you. It's not up to you to decide how you want them to react and how you want them to to rise. I know we naturally want people to rise with us, especially those that we care about so much, um, especially family members and friends and coworkers. Um, but understand and appreciate that they are on their own path just as you are on your path. Um, so you're doing it. Like you are helping them raise their vibrations. You are helping them ascend into light as well. Um, but what I'm hearing Spirit say is be focused on who you are. Be focused on your journey. Um, be focused on your growth and your healing. Um, because you, 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 divine counterpart aside is what Spirit is telling me. Because you guys share the same frequency, the same um, soul song, the same vibrational um, signature, the same match. Um, so we're not even talking about divine counterparts, um, Spirit wants to remind me. We're talking about like other people in your life, um, other relationships, other friendships, other family members, other co-workers, um, even other strangers that you are affecting. You're affecting everybody on this planet just by being who you are. So stick with this journey. Um, you are a light being, you're ascending into light, and you're helping the planet ascend into light. You have been working towards this, heading towards this for lifetimes. Um, that's the purpose of all this. Also, what I'm hearing with the lifetimes thing, um, I'm coming back to you've been training for this for lifetimes. What I'm hearing is that there's also some past life stuff going on here. Um, so that might be a place for you to heal. But what I'm hearing is that you are clearing out that past life stuff. Everything that you've kind of experienced in the past life that has held you back, um, that has repressed yourself, impressed the soul song of yourself. What I'm hearing is that you are clearing that out. You are ending karmic cycles. And again, we got the moon card, moonlight. Um, I'm ignoring these words, travel, romance, potential, like that's all beautiful, you know, take that as it is. Um, what I'm hearing from this moonlight card is with this full moon, this past full moon was very, very powerful and very, very intense. And it was really the ending of old cycles, old patterns of behavior, old habits that no longer serve us, old relationships that no longer serve us, um, old jobs and places and things that are no longer in alignment with who we are and who we want to be. Um, we've released that. We have ended that. And it's making way with endings come new beginnings. And it's making way for um, for that new beginning, for that new manifestation, for what we truly want in our souls, for what we truly, for the love that we truly want and the light that we truly want to be. What I'm also being called to say here is the moon illuminates. Um, and so I feel like that's what's happening with a lot of you. It's really illuminating all those things I said. It's illuminating all that past soul sludge. It's illuminating all the healing that needs to be done yet. It's illuminating all the past patterns of behavior that didn't serve us and that are not going to serve us going forward. It's illuminating all the habits, the bad habits, the vices that we've carried with us. Um, what Spirit is saying is that you are no longer that. You are no longer your past. This past, this past moon really, it changed, it shifted a lot for us. It shifted a lot for us, um, for the collective, um, for you. It shifted a lot in the way that you, your energy changed. And I actually felt that within myself. Um, the energy really changed. You realized what was no longer serving you and you really stepped into who you are. We got this be authentic to who you are card. It's, it says you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. And I feel like this past moon, this full moon in Taurus, um, back on Wednesday, it really called us to step into who we are, to who we truly are. It stepped up, it made us step up and articulate ourselves. It made us step up and express ourselves and communicate fully and, and um, concisely. It made us understand what it is that we want and what it is we deserve. It made us be bold. Look, we have this bold card. Um, it says, unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. Um, but And we'll come back to that. But it says, um, what I'm hearing is it really made us step into who we are, this God and goddess of who we are. It really made us step into ourselves and understand who we are and what we deserve and what no longer serves us um, so that we can move release all that so we can move into this new cycle of who we are so that we can step into our soul song so that we can light ourselves up and step into this new age step in this new paradigm of light and love and singing our soul song singing the song of who we truly are which is just love which is just pure pure love now i'm called again to this bold unleash your adventurous side take risks and be daring um there are some of you who are still holding back 
um, that's just a word of caution for you. Um, there are some of you who are still kind of, mm, how do I say this? That's such a strong word. I don't like that word, spirit. Use another one. <laughs> Use another one. I'm hearing that you're still kind of hiding in the moonlight or you're hiding from the moonlight because the moonlight illuminates aspects of ourselves um, that maybe we don't want to face. And there's some of you I'm hearing that you are still kind of hiding in that. And what they're saying is be bold and face yourself. Um, what they're saying is take that risk and be daring and be courageous and go for what you want. This is a time to really go for what you want because as you step more into who you are, as you illuminate what you want and who you are, then you can have what you want. You can have what you want. Um, because this is a new age. This is a new age of manifestation as within, so without. As you come more into alignment with yourself, as you understand and illuminate what you want, um, as you understand who you are as a soul, um, you come more into alignment vibrationally with who you are and you understand what it is that you want for your life and for your, your path, then you manifest it, that out. But you have to be bold and take some action. You have to be a little bit daring because the universe has your back. The universe is on your side. Um, they want you to step into the light. They want you to step into who you are and be authentic to who you are. They want you to unleash all of your desires and all of your um, wants. They want you to manifest the life that you want because what you want is love. Because you would not be on this path if what you wanted was not love. If who you were was not love. You would not be on this path. Um, if who you were was not light itself. Um, so what they're saying is, is step into that. Step into that more. Be bold and step into the truth of who you are. Take that risk. Unleash yourself and step into the th authentic being that you truly are. We also have this responsibility card. It says you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. And so Again, number one, they're saying you've been holding yourself back a little bit. You've been kind of hiding yourself. They're saying step into that. Step into the love. Express yourself. Um, first and foremost, express yourself to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Shed some light on yourself. But, but also um, express yourself to others. Express your love to others. Don't be afraid of that. Be bold. Take that risk and be daring because when you are bold like that, when you express yourself like that, then you step more into love. Then you step more into the light of who you are because you are light and love. You just are. Um, they're also saying you're aware of the power of your thoughts and that calls to mind manifestation, what we were just talking about. You can manifest everything you want. You can have everything that you want. You don't have to hold back from what you want because when you hold back from what you want, then you hold back from who you are. Um, I'm getting called to say, listen to Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks says, you know, it is our natural, it is natural for us to want in this world. It is natural in us to have, for us to have desires. And every time we have what they call rockets of desires is it, it shoots up into a vortex where every, where all of our manifestations are. And as we come into vibrational alignment with that, then that comes into alignment in our physical world, but it all comes from within first. So we have, that's manifestation. So we have the desire. We, it goes into our vortex. We feel it within. We raise our vibrations to become a match. And then we see it manifest into our physical world. And Abraham Hicks, um, the collective consciousness that is Abraham Hicks, they say there's nothing wrong with wanting. There's nothing wrong with wanting what you want in this life, whether it's a car, whether it's a person, whether it's a job whether it's money, there is nothing wrong with wanting what you want. Because all of that, when you have what you want, you are a vibrational match to it. And you can only be that vibrational match when you are high enough in vibration to be that match to it. When you are light enough in that vibration. And when you are light enough in that vibration, then you're affecting the world. You're affecting the world naturally. So those of you who just want to be light workers and share your mission and live in love, you can also have, you don't, you know, you don't have to live in poverty. You can also have money if that's what you want. You can also have the house and the car. You can also have the relationship that you want. Um, because when you are a vibrational match for what you want, you have to raise your vibrations high enough for that. Um, and, th and raising your vibrations high enough, Spirit is saying, is coming into more authentic truth of who you are, stepping into the light of who you are, stepping more into who you are as a soul. So as you raise your vibrations high enough, because you do that through love, because love is the only thing that's real. You raise your vibrations through love. So as you raise your vibrations high enough, you manifest what you want, but you're also raising your vibrations and helping those around you. 
raise their vibrations. Like it's, it's, I've never channeled this before. It's kind of amazing. So they're saying like, you can have what you want. Like that's heaven on earth. Like that's what we're shifting into this age of light. You're creating heaven on earth. You are the 3D and the 5D and above that I've been saying this for weeks now. I haven't truly understood it until now, but those dimensions are collapsing. Those dimensions are merging so that what you manifest on the 5D as you become more light, as you become more love, as you become the soul of who you are, that's coming into the physical world. So want what you want because that just means that you're coming into more alignment with love because as you are manifesting whatever it is that you want in the physical, that just means that you're coming more into alignment with love because all things come through love first because love is the only thing that's real. I've never channeled that before. That's really, really amazing. It's really, really beautiful. I hope that that message resonates with you guys. Um, we're going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to try to do a reading on that and uh, see if I can get some more clarity on that um, in the next couple of uh, readings because that was really beautiful. I've never experienced that before. Um, I've never, I've never seen the whole picture like that before. That was really beautiful. Um, yeah, so it's okay to want what you want on the 3D because that just means that as you manifest it in the 3D, that just means that you're coming into alignment with it. And when you come into alignment with it, that just means that you're aligning with love and light. And as you align with love and light, then you align with the universe. You align with source energy. You are love and light. That's really freaking beautiful. Man, that's astounding. All right, I'm going to pull some... Um, the universe has your back cards. Actually, I don't want to. It's interesting. I am pulling different cards for different groups. I'm being called. I was called to um, the Keepers of the Light deck for group number two for some additional guidance. I was called to the Lover's Oracle deck for group number one for additional guidance. I am being called to this... Um, what is this? The Spirit Messages Oracle deck by John Holland. And let's see. Um, I really, I would love to get more clarity on what I just channeled because that was really beautiful. But let's see what messages, um, additional messages Spirit has for you with regards to this reading. Spirit, what additional messages do you have? Let's get one or two cards for additional messages for this group. What do they need to hear? What will benefit them on this journey? more cats whoops <sighs> when they go flying they all go flying let's get one more spirit oh my goodness you guys they've been flying all over the place oh my gosh oh my gosh all right just one more not a thousand. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I am. I'm just going to pull one from the top of the deck. Oh my gosh. They just went all over the place. Spirit's like, you want a card? Here, have a thousand. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got Dream Talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with, your, with you through signs, symbol, messages, and more. So what I'm getting from this um, is, yes, you have support from your divine guidance team. Like, you are supported on this journey. So don't, you know, don't have any fear. Be open. Be vulnerable. Um, as you come more into the authentic soul self of who you are. Um, but also be aware of the, I'm calling to this, to the power of your thoughts. They're saying, be aware of how the universe speaks to you. Um, they're saying they'll speak to you through dreams. Um, they'll speak to you through synchronicities, through symbols, through signs. Be aware that as you talk to the universe, as you ascend, as you connect to your higher self, the universe is talking back to you. I'm also getting that this has regards to manifestation, what we were just talking about. They're saying, you know, it's, mani you know, manifest through your dreams. Manifest, you know, it's okay to have dreams. It's okay to have, you know, wants and desires. That's how you manifest. Um, so they're saying connect. Connect to that as well. 
We also got the support card, and it says, People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from, and then they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. And what I'm getting here is what we said about um, people coming in, like your alignment is going to be changing, um, especially with the full moon, you are releasing. You are coming more into alignment with who you are, so that means that as you come more into alignment with who you are, you're releasing what is no longer serving you, and that can be people as well. So trust the universe, trust the universe, um, trust the support that you're getting. Um, trust that as you come more into alignment with who you are, you might be releasing some relationships, some people, places, things, experiences, patterns of behavior that no longer serve you, but trust that you're supported in that. Um, I am going to now get a card or two from this, the universe has your back, maybe just one card, um, the universe has your back deck because this is what I pulled for clarifiers, so I just want to get one card to complete this reading. What does your higher self have to say to you as far as final messages of guidance on your journey? Man, spirit is stubborn too today. Are you sure about that? Cool. I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So trust. Trust this path. Trust that you are ascending into a new age of light. Of light. Trust that, you know, where you are in your healing journey is exactly where you're meant to be. Trust that you are, um, once again, that you are, you've been on this path for lifetimes. Trust that you're being guided on it. Trust that you're here. Um, trust that the universe has your back in the forms of signs and symbols and synchronicities that they are talking with you. Um, trust that you can have what you want on this journey. Trust that you're being guided to that as you ascend, that that is the purpose of this ascension. Um, and trust that as you are bold in your life, as you come more to who you are, to your authentic soul self, as to your authentic soul self, excuse me, as you shed more light on yourself. As you face yourself, know that you're being guided. Know that you have support behind you, your support team behind you. Do I want, yep. Super long reading, you guys, but I'm being called to one more card. A lot of messages tonight. A lot of messages from your higher selves and spirit tonight. And it's really beautiful. Um, I'm really appreciating it. So let's see if there's one more um, coming out. From the Lover's Oracle deck. I used that before. That's too many. I used that for the other groups as a final message. message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, you guys. That's a loving message from your higher self. Know that you're divinely guided. Know that you have the blueprint within you. You have the blueprint within you. You're your own soul. You have that within you. You are being guided on this journey because you have everything you need within you for manifestations, to raise your vibrations, to face yourself, to be bold, and have what you want in this life. To be the light of who you are. You have it all within you. Your higher self is guiding you. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, with that, we are complete. Um, just want to say, if you feel called to any of the other groups, go ahead and give those a listen. Go ahead and give a listen to any of the other pick piles um, If the messages do not resonate with you, don't take them. That's okay. It just means it was not meant for you at this time. We'll have some more pickup piles coming up in the next week. Um, so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a beat. Also, make sure you follow our Instagram and Facebook pages, um, Susan Dawn Spiritual at, for both. We have some more spreads. We have some more images. We have some more channel messages and my own personal experiences on this journey going up there all the time. So make sure you don't miss that. Additionally, if you want to book a personal reading with me, 
um, go ahead and do that now. We are offering 50% off until the end of the year. I channel until the messages are complete, as you can see. Um, I like to make sure you guys are satisfied. We do a half a reading, which is generally about a half hour, or a full reading, which is generally about, about an hour. But again, I channel until the messages feel complete, until I feel like you have what you need for your journey for guidance. Um, so go ahead and book with me. Um, I am running about two to three days behind, but shoot me a message and let me know if you um, need uh, any faster turnaround time. Um, and make sure you get that in before the end of the year because my prices are going to be going up. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Um, we'll be back next week with more pickle piles and more um, Oracle and Tarot readings. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Much love to you. Catch you later.